You have both of my generals. I just want you to have bare minimum. Oh, but you didn't. You got uh, Umar. Well, Umar will take care of it nonetheless. Here we go. Bare minimum. Come over here. Is that Aragon or England? Sierra Leone. That is England without a doubt. So England are going colonial, but like most people, they don't know what a new world is. So they can't do a lot on that. Repairing up slowly but surely here. Right, here's what we'll do then. Um, mercenaries, go and take care of the knights and then disband yourselves. Ooh, well, no. Disbanding mercs seems like a fool's errand given uh, the fights that I'm about to have. Right, change of plan then. Here's a couple of um, a couple of cavalry to help you fight this battle as efficiently as possible. Go do so. Just ditch one of you here. The rest of you, however, are going to fight Castilians. Those Milanian troops have been stuck there for ages. I know. Um, I'm actually not sure why. Kong and Mali troops just don't want to go home. Maybe it has something to do with the fear of the um, the natives in Tuat, despite the fact that they're black flag, they probably don't appreciate the, the difference there. That would be my educated guess, there's nothing to say that's exactly how it's going down. We'll go to Tenerife, take it back, and then we're going to not happily cross over to Gran Canaria. We will take a crossing penalty, but we'll still do it and kill them. Okay, it's coming up for peacetime. Uh, I might as well kill some Castilians before I do that, because, I mean, come on. Why give them an easy time? Oh, I'm actually looking forward to this. I can't wait. Why contain it? They must die. Uh, no, not quite like that. Kill them. You know, thinking back to the streamed Ryukyu World Conquest, I think it was Madeira, the last holdout of Portuguese troops, and I took so many units trying to take it. They kept recruiting more and more, and I just couldn't dislodge them. But now, you know, in my fight uh, for the uh, total control over uh, Iberia, this is where the last of the Castilian holdouts are. And I don't think I'm going to have quite the problem killing them. Get the hell out of my land. Alright, Rusalon is ours. Gibraltar has been converted. All is right with the world. I need this autonomy down before I can really do much there. Castile's bankrupt. It'll be an easy fight. I know. I know. I can take the money and the land from Aragon. I don't think I want anything more out of them, although I could probably take it. I should probably consider things like uh, ensuring they don't see eye to eye with France. They are... Oh, no, they're rivaled. Not to worry there. Probably won't be after I do this to Aragon, though. That's food for thought. Hmm. I'll be scramming now. Enjoy your pale eating Jake. Cheers, Black Wind. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Any other cruel things that I could do to them? I'm not giving the pasta breaths anything out of this. A lot of this is just military access I don't care that much about. Humiliation's nice, but uh, then I would give up the money. Why not just take more money, I guess? And there's nobody I think is worth breaking them up with. No, that, that's a good peace deal to me. How about Castile? Yeah, all this land. I do like the money, however... I don't think there's much point in prolonging this war. They're already bankrupt as well. Yeah. Ah, and of course I'm taking the canaries from them too. And I've burnt down their colonies. Basically, I'm not going to be on anybody's Christmas card list after this. Even Timbucks too are having second thoughts about me uh, from this. But you know what? Jake of old wouldn't be scared, and Jake of today is not either. Give me that land. Oh, give me that land. 
And give me that land. There we go. <sighs> Iberia has been half renovated, and I'm pretty happy about that. Eat and grow fat, Jake. Well, that is the plan here. Now, uh, I have a, a, a slight overextension problem. Let's start dealing with that. First of all, Yolof uh, deserve a province here, so let's grant them arguing. I, I don't want that piece of garbage. Probably just going to revolt on, on them anyway, but there you go. Coalition o'clock. It's just a number, mind. Uh, I think we've liberated... What did I not take here? I thought I took it all. Oh, it has to be a core. Well, so be it. These ones, however, did not. The Great Mosque is ours, and 100 Admin is ours. Yeah, that sounds pretty nice, doesn't it? Yeah, figures if this is for becoming Al-Andalus, this would be... Uh... We're seeing it, Albeque, all things in Vala Oh, it needs to be mine and my core. Sure, but it's no big deal. No big deal. I want to make absolutely sure that Al Andalus does not require me to have those. It does not. No, then we're good. So, getting back to it, I want to bring uh, Valencia onto the map. They'll be Catholic, sure, but uh, nobody's perfect. Welcome to the map, Valencia. They might hate me as well, but give them time. I do want to integrate them, I'm just letting them hold on to this land temporarily. Uh, which actually is probably not a great idea since I have all these permanent claims on them. But, eh. Can't worry too much about these things. Now we're a bit more manageable on overextension. And this is going to cost me an arm and a bloomin' leg. And I'm about to eat coalition sandwich left, right and centre. So I think the clever thing to do at this point is to reduce core creation cost and to gain some extra manpower. That sounds pretty swell to me. Let's make it so. And let's get those cores going. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Yeah, I have the admin, which is great. I also have the admin to follow up by getting myself an additional colonist. But since I want to state and uh, full core all of this, well, let's give it time. You know, come to think of it, wouldn't I get permanent claims on these when I form Andalusia? Perhaps it's not worth coring these right now. Uh, well, the ones that I don't have the permanent claims on. When I can get them considerably cheaper shortly. Let's see, this is the uh, Toledo area, right? If I form Al-Andalus, Toledo permanent claims. Sounds like a winner to me whole lot of land to convert, including Tenerife. But Tenerife is full of Portuguese, I'll expel them. Yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with this. And ordinarily this is where I'd be like, and we'll deal with the problems later, but I want to form Andalusia this, uh, this session. So let's um, try not to panic, but be aware of uh, the immense trouble that we're about to find ourselves in. Castile don't see me as a, as a rival. In fact, I lost all my rivals here. Tunis will stick through me, uh, stick with me through thick and thin. Surely, the Mamluks. Um, I'm sure they like me still. But this aggressive expansion is ridiculous. England's about the only country out there that wouldn't uh, coalition me in uh, the relevant part of Europe. We're talking a hundred aggressive expansion with the HRE. Even the Danes, and I probably should have thought about that ahead of time, even the Danes are about to uh, come and kick my keister. So I'm thinking, um, no, a fort on Granada would take forever and a day to erect. I might have to fall back to Malaga. 30 months to build. I'm I'm seeing the the usefulness of having a fort here. However, what I should really be doing, uh, Timbuktu and Mali are still threats of uh, coalition world. Yeah, they're almost certainly going to join in the coalition. That's going to give me untoward troubles down here. Well, this is the this is the world that we've earned ourselves. Here we go: Salzburg, Mali, Liège, Würzburg. Bohemia. I think it's time for some friends. 
Who would be my friend? Also, uh, I don't want Valencia drawn into any of this. So we're actually going to tell them that they are in Scootage. I could enforce religion, but uh, forget that for now. Isn't it better to remove all forts in Iberia and defend the strait? Mm, yeah, especially since it's my capital here, but there'd be a lot to lose. We'll see how it plays out. Actually, this is never going to be finished in time. Forget it. Save the money. Uh, build the army. That army is going to have to include a bunch of mercs because there's going to be a lot of dying involved here. Yeah, we'll step back with everything that we can here. Uh, is Belia a good place for supply? Gibraltar and Cadiz ain't that bad either. We'll get you folks home. We're still building the navy. I'll just build the units now. We can pull them back if the war comes, or rather when the war comes. Ulm is in the coalition. It's all it's all over for me now. Jake, is this a good time to defend the faith? It's a good time for the faith to defend me. Um, who would be my friend? Scotland, Songhai, Kong, Ophali, and Desmond. I tell you what, Songhai is a pretty good option right now pretty great option right now. They would help me against Timbuktu and Mali. In fact, Kong is even looking like a strong option right now. Their tech might suck, but anything that defends me against Mali and Timbuktu and stops me from being distracted there is a positive step for me. That said, it will cost me untowardly. I don't want to do that. Yeah, surely Strong High will help me out. <laughs> the more the merrier, just ally them all. Uh, Kong's a bit of a liability, right? Their tech is significantly weaker. Kong, tell me about your army. Uh, just tell me. Yeah, Kong brings 6,000 into the fray, whilst Song High bring 27. 27 trumps Mali and Timbuktu. And Strong High has a better tech than Mali. And is uh, fairly well defended. And I'll have Joloff involved as well. Songhai should be plenty. Kong could just cost me uh, battles there. And I can reinforce the extra units down there if the need arises. And the need will arise. Alright. Oh, da uh, the Danes. The Danes are here. I want the Danes to not be there. Let's uh, improve relations. Are you sure you don't want to be my friend, England? They're quite sure. I'm making a deficit now, but a lot of that's because I'm rooting out corruption because of all this overextension. Let's get you all back to Cadiz. We're over force limit by a little bit, but that's okay. I guess. <laughs> well, come one, come all. This is what we're living for. Uh, let's not marry Songhai. I'm not looking for that kind of relationship. Oh, here's a funny problem that a lot of people also see. I want to highlight my ships. Ah, my massive army is in the way. If you hold control and drag, you will only get ships. So, can be useful when you do both uh, army and navy in the same area, especially for these pretty small provinces. It's nice and all having you here, but I should have you on a fortified province like uh, Malia. You'll get there in time to get some repairs going. Even the Swiss. Even the Swiss. Jake Poland is in the coalition. That's a pretty meaty looking coalition. And it doesn't even have France and Austria in it yet. And it probably will. I might even face multiple coalitions on this front. But, you know who it won't have in it? My good friend, the Ottoman. I feel like I have more of an army. There it is. Let's get you away from that incredibly dangerous location. Oh, just keeps happening. It keeps happening. 
Jake, declare in a minor and hope for the best. No. Listen, this is what we've invited upon ourselves. How can we claim to be the last jewel of Al-Andalus if we can't stand up to what the Christians throw at us again? This is where it all went wrong. Actually, I think the Grand Vizier um, isolating uh, the heir and the regent just taking over uh, was where it all went wrong. But still, this is where we have to set it right. Who's the crusade target? Not me. Long may it not be me. Powerful no balls. That doesn't sound good at all. So it's uh, kind of great that Elghorn brought us back onto the mainland, but his successor, Haramir, went ham. Question is if that'll work out to our benefit or not. Right, forget your spy network. I care more about... Man, I wish I could get an overview of the claims I get from forming uh, Al-Andalus. Uh, does it include whatever this area is? Beras. Surely it would. I mean, it all belongs to us, right? I do. Alright, I shouldn't have to worry about making claims in Iberia anymore. Tim Bucks, who has joined the coalition? I mean, I could fight you, but uh, there's a lot of folks that want to fight me, that's for sure. Nah, my allies will help me out in this dangerous time. Actually, Tanis will be a liability, but I don't want them to break up with me. No, wow, they're not in debt. Songhai is cruel, they may not want to help me. Oh Christ, there's a lot of reasons they might not want to help me. And I already have Dip Rep Man, and I'm drowning in... Okay, there's a very real chance that Stronghai does not help me in the war. Their cruelty um, will hurt. I should increase their trust so that they become more likely to help me, even though this is expensive. That trust should help out. This is not the most organized army I've ever seen. Let's get you guys together so I can sort you out into a, an effective killing machine. Mercs, yep, mercs, meat, cavalry, and artillery for ultimate fighting effectiveness. Here are 31k stacks of holdout in Isabella. Isabella Keys. The rest of you stay here in Cadiz. Did I earn much battle experience? Yeah, and it might be worth getting a new general, but I really want the Spanish square. Coalition can't dow you if you dow them first. If they dow me, um, actually, what the heck is the coalition um, war thing? It's for the capital, right? And here we go. Here we go. Oldenburg have declared war, bringing in all the everybody. We're fighting a... Um, mm, Far more than quarter million. That's a lot of people to fight. Here we go indeed. My cores are halfway done, but halfway is not whole way. Uh, also, because this is not a, uh, a full area, I can't, or a full state, I can't give it a uh, improved defensiveness edict, which is what we're going to need here. Fortunately, all of my allies got involved. Unfortunately, yeah, there's there's a, quite a few unfortunately's involved. But let's just take it as it comes. I should check this, of course. Oh, it shows superiority. Hmm. If my allies lose battles, that's going to hurt me quite badly. And I sh should seek to win this on one battles. Hopefully nobody goes to search for you in the new world, but... Uh, Ah, there's nothing for you to even check out over there. Uh, right, we'll bring Bitter Cavin back, because they're actually quite good at fighting. We'll tell you to go over and look after our colonies there. This is my navy. There are many like it, but this is mine. Uh, I'm going to leave Bitter Craven in charge of the navy, and hope upon hope that we can fight all comers. Stay there, ready to strike any who appear. Yeah, I know overextension is dangerously high, but we can win. Malians in North African desert. Yeah, but they are exiled, and there's a fat load of nothing they can do about that. 
this is what they can do, though. They can invade my land that I really like here. But this is what we made the alliance for. The strong highs. Unfortunately, I can't separate piece any of these buggers. Uh, sure wish I could, but I cannot. But he should be able to keep them busy down there enough. If they occupy my gold, that's going to be pretty grim news for my income, but uh, once I've finished rooting out all the corruption, it should be okay. Ottomans dishonored a call for Luristan. That is madness. I doubt the war that they're in is that busy, but uh, perhaps they just didn't want to stay together with Luristan much longer. Jake, is France in the coalition? France is not in the coalition. They've been busy fighting England. You might think this is good, but it means that they'll probably just join a separate coalition with the likes of Venice, Milan, the Pope, Austria, Hungary. And then I'll have a second coalition to fight alongside. But, you know, you don't win them all. Jojo occupied by Mali. What a disgrace. I could get some good war score if I went down and killed the Malians, but I don't risk, uh, don't risk this. Hopefully Strong High wins out here. Uh, what I can do is temporarily make this into a defensive area and feel relatively good about it. But yeah, winning battles can chug up some real nice war score and a show superiority. It can be difficult to do though. And I don't have as many transports as I want for all this. Well, I'm waiting for all to come and... Uh, and taste it. Of course I could, uh, no I don't think anybody wants Mali and land out of all of this. But this is good though, Strong High is taking down both of these forts, hopefully faster than Mali can manage ours, because Strong High have cannons and siege ability. Jake, lazy dips can be used to keep Austria out of the coalition. I somehow doubt that they'll affect that much, but I like the way you think. Oh man, England love me, they would help me in wars now, but uh, too little too late. Is that 200? 265 aggressive expansion with France. And the Pope's still not impressed with me. Is there anybody else who I could reasonably get out of this? Well, Hungary could be done. Poland already joined. Let's make it happen. Is Valencia on support of Valencia are on scootage? I did not want them to cost me war score by losing battles in this war. Songhai, I'm fairly confident, won't lose battles. The thing about show superiority is even small battles count, and that's can be what that can be what really uh, dings you in. Speaking of which, Utrecht joining coalition is not very fun. Let's try and get that boat out of there before it costs us anything. Is this an intentional coalition war? Intentional as in I knew it was going to happen, but uh, it's not good for me. I did this because I wanted to be really ballsy and really show up the Iberians. Don't tell me I need to be at peace. Uh, I need to be at peace. Uh, I don't want to be at peace. I don't want to have to be at peace. I was hoping I could form Andalusia during this war, but uh, that ain't happening. I don't want to pay extra for these provinces, they're expensive. Boy, did you show them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll just bite the extra cost. It's not a huge saving if I don't. Just didn't want to. Also, I wanted my sweet missions. Okay, well, be that as it is. Oh, yeah, the other coalition is uh, forming now against me. Right, how, how does one see about this? I think we should go and kill some, um, some Africans for easy war score. I don't think the coalition can get through our troops here that quickly. I picked them up from Isabela. 15, huh? 15 units can go down and kick some ass. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. With our greatest general, um. 
Umar is pretty good, actually. Godspeed, kick their arses, kick their dog's arses. Nah, you're fine in Isabella, but I guess you're better if you switch places. Remember the Spanish square, Jake? Yes, and I want that Spanish square. I should be able to get it before most of my enemies. Mali just fell out with her friend, and those forts are falling. Oh, if we get down fast enough, I want to... Yeah! Always get your 10 to 1s. Grand Canaria is cored now. Full core as well, because I already made this an area earlier. Happy days for me. I don't know where the enemies are, actually. Maybe they can't get access to France. No, they get access to France. They get access through everyone. It just takes one person to ask for the access and get it, and then it goes to everyone in the war. Makes sense, but uh, also, goodbye. Alright, get the hell off of my provinces and my subjects' provinces. Also, I should keep my, uh, my military fleet up here ready to kick ass, just in case anyone tries to navally invade me. I already have diplomat, uh, discipline advisor, rather, running in here. Savannah's not going to do us any big favors for the battle, but let's make it come together anyway. And this, you're going to see why it's important for me to fight these battles. Boom, three war score. That's quite a lot of war score. Good, keep it coming. Um, don't want to lose these battles. Don't want my subjects losing easy battles either. Uh, we chalk up enough war score from this, we can win the war. And I mean win, not just white peace or give up our allies' lands. Remember, we are the best that Europe has to offer. And we are not going to bow to the Christians. Not now, not ever. A slight technicality that um, there are Africans involved in all of this. Good, we can get Timbuktu under total occupation if we play our cards right here. I'd like to send you out for battle, but I don't want to do it in inland seas. Just hang about there then, make sure everything's alright. Ever since I started watching your videos years ago, Jake, get the hell out of my land has been my favourite battle cry. It's nice to hear it again. I believe I initially said that on the Ryukyu World Conquest, where I faced inconceivable odds in Southeast Asia, but simply yelled hard enough that I was able to kill them all. Mm, I don't want to spend a whole lot of tax money I don't have, but the Alema, nah, we'll just spend the money, it's only tax. There we go, another frightfully useful uh, bunch of war score for us. Long may it keep happening. Now if Kong were involved, I mean if any of their surviving units in this war had been around, they would have been costing a valuable war score here. But now I enjoy 6% and their numbers are gonna dwindle. It might take a while, but they will dwindle. I don't really like the positioning here. You're kind of stood in the open, and you have no general. We'll give you the bare minimum, and we'll keep the pain train going. You're working tomorrow? No, I'm working today. Welcome to Thursday. Thank you for occupying uh, my good friend Stronghai. Oh, and they're off to Boer. Well, I mean, you're making a kind of good decision to go for the hills, but it's not good enough. Ah yes, Castile, I may not like you, however, I don't need to keep embargoing you. The money I make on Sevilla is uh, pretty good for keeping this all going, thank you kindly. Omen, no men, I don't play my Scottish... Uh, Anything for laughs. Oh, that is that is just swell. With this, it's probably prudent for us to ensure that there is no further fighting necessitated in Africa. It's a shame because it's easy war score, but let's face it. This is the battle. Uh, yeah, let's ignore that for a little bit. 
it would actually suck for me if um, I couldn't, if I got hit with a second coalition war, because then I wouldn't be able to peace out and form Andalusia. Jake, do you plan on bringing back the Wheel of Misfortune? Um, I use the wheel for a whole bunch of things, but if you mean for another campaign, then I prefer not to keep traveling the paths I've already walked. What I mean there is, we had a great unlucky Luca campaign. It was so much fun, but it's good to keep things fresh and alive with new and different ideas, and oh bollocks, that was Austria with a new and fresh and different idea. And Milan's joining them. Tell me more about this coalition. It grows ever so slightly more. Oh, please don't kick my ass. Right, I hope they don't lose, but... Oh, a new general! Does he show promise? Shows promise at running away. He's pretty much every bit as good as Umar is, but faster. So I think we'll trade you out, because Omar is likely to die soon. We've had you around for a while. So we'll sack you, and we'll have you run bold-facedly into enemy territory. And good lord, this Stronghai uh, alliance has worked wonders for me already. Shame about the occupation of Jojo burning down the prosperity that we'd built up in our gold provinces, but we will survive. And where the hell are the enemies? Oh, the Ottoman! Oh no, the Ottomans are giving him access. Hmm. I think we found out where the enemies are. The Danes arrive first, I see. However, we are showing superiority, so we're going to get ticking war score as long as our allies don't uh, fail horrendously at battles. But looking at this, we've got the occupations on Mali. And I can be satisfied with that. Seems like my subject will take care of this. I want to find out where the Malian country pretty much is, so let's get on that. Tunis might turn into a liability soon, only if they get navally invaded, and if they do, that kind of works for me, because I can use my navy to kick any enemy navy's arses. Uh, rebels, Castilians, kind of expected. Um, most of it's protected by fort, or aren't in... Uh, bad places. I wonder if the emirs could help us out with our military issues. Let's tell them to go on a diet and try our luck with another general because they might get, give us somebody amazing. They did not. Yamal, you're getting out of my country. However, a hundred mil power could go a long way towards getting us the Spanish Square. And that Spanish Square means we will be destroying pretty much anybody we come across in battle. I hate paying this much over the uh, over the top for it. But it's probably for the better to do now. God, this is expensive, but let's just make it so. This is our, this is our big fight after all. Dip and admin, huh? I still have horrendously unbalanced uh, research, and yeah, this is pretty good to get. I want these as well, though. There's a lot of things I want. Okay, um, with this I can get myself some new units. The Musketeer, I think that's the only one that was there. It's a bulk of my units. Hopefully I don't run into any enemy armies with my now incredibly under uh, moraled units, but this land all looks to be occupado, and the battles keep rolling in. Oh my, thank you kindly Stronghai. Didn't give us much war score, but every little's going to help around here. Okay, not concerned because it's on a fort right there, but it will delay the coring, so once we get our, um, once we get our morale back, Let's go and slaughter them. And let, it's a shame the enemies aren't invading us from here because then we could just slaughter them after they take care of our rebs. Yep, 
Even as rebels, you Spaniards disgust me. Let's take you down. With the bear, minimum. Nah! Jumi, what's his face, can take care of it. <laughs> Shoot him dead. This is how these battles of the future are going to go as well. Siege specialist as well. I mean, he doesn't have the siege ability for it, but I'll still take it. Excelente. Well, the Mamluks are deciding to go for it. I'd really rather they did not, but um, the war is actually going very much in my favor, courtesy of... Uh, I can't walk in my allies' lands here, for shame. Courtesy of beating up uh, Africans and not facing any real opposition here. It's going well for me. And the question I should ask myself is, who can I pick off in all of this? Oldenburg is a war leader, and that's kind of useful for me because look at them right here. They got a fairly useless capital fort. If I really wanted this war over with, at least after several years have passed, I can snipe their capital fort, just land with troops, take it, and laugh my way to the bank. I thought this campaign was to take Iberia, not unite Christendom. Well, we've united them all right, just against a common foe. Natives rose up, natives then sunk down deep into the ground. Bitter craven, if only you could explore something for me, but no. I mean, this ugly ass piece of land. I could take a whole lot more of it, but it's all nasty tropical garbage. I want something a bit nicer. Well, once we have our launch pad McDuck, we might be able to go a bit further. What do we have here? Still some scorched red development, but um, do you think you have it in your heart to tell me what's... Ah, oh, forget it, Bitter Craven's uh, busy fighting for king and country. Statesman's deed, he was integral in getting strong high in this war. Tariff's trick trade efficiency, yoink. And this should not need to still be a uh, state or territory or anything like that. No, well, it goes back to being a territory. It doesn't need to be a state. And Mali's in one hell of a state. I am also surprised that they've not come pouring in through the peninsula. And I'm very confused as to why they have not. There are a lot of them, so there's a good chance they just can't coordinate it well. But what I could do is, once I get my army and navy back, is scout along the coastline and see where they all are. Every time I look at Tinnis, they've got rebels. <laughs> yes, they do. Oh man, and they got them in a pretty bad state there. Um, I actually don't want them losing that fort to rebels. Well, let's get back first and then, then figure out what's what. I think I'll land on that fort if I can get back fast enough and then kill the Rebs. Sixth of February, how about in here? Twenty eighth of January, land there, take a month to get your stuff back and then go and take over the fort for them. Papal states. Oh man, I really do not want a second declaration. Did I read that right? We're getting cocoa over here? Nice. It's the only temperate place around here and it's given us the chocolate. The Crusaders went to Constantinople. I get a look at that. They got sent packing. Who defeated the Danes? 35,000 Danish soldiers attacked 24,000 Mamlukian soldiers and got their arse handed to them. 
They out tech the Mamluks, they outnumbered the Mamluks, and they had a 4 4 2 1 general there. Well. Well, well, well. These Stardust Crusaders ain't all that. There we go. Give me a hand, Tanez. I actually don't want you dying to rebels all day. Now if we get back home, we should be able to reinforce quite a bit faster. 31st of March will do the trick. God was not on their side. I mean, everything else was. Here we go, war number two. I was expecting this. Tandy would have expected this as well. Uh, considerably smaller punitive war. Joloff are not impressed with all this. They are exhausted from the fighting. But, oh, Venice is not somebody I was hoping to encounter in all of this. However, they weren't really paying for their fleet. And they're going to be paying for that. Yoink. Steal one of theirs, because Bitter Craven knows which phase comes first. Hardly uh, a war swinger, that one. But I'll take it. But once again, if I want to come out on top on this war, I have to win some battles. Now this one's going fine because I got 20 from battles and uh, 5 out of 25 on the ticking war score here. But the Austrians, not so easy pickings here. Utrecht, Pap well, it's Austria plus, uh, plus Northern Italy, really. James Milan have looked better like any other day. But I need both these wars done. I mean, I wonder what he even wants from me. Give Gabu to Mali and release a few sovereign states. Let me just tell you how much that won't be happening. Show us the war map mode, Jake. I mean, come on, it's just a little bit of war going on for poor little Granada. It's not even been a hundred years since the start date and everyone's picking on me. Just, uh, no justice in the world here. That said, Venice have a very heavy galley presence around here. It's now quite dangerous for me to get involved in the Mediterranean. Hey Jake, here to spoil myself since I'm behind the VODs. Any hiccups recently? Not a hiccup per se, but I am at war with um, Europe. Extended Europe. England is the only one that likes me, and France are just too busy to hate me. But that's okay, right? Jake, stop Yolof from invading the HR. Oh, dearie me. Good point. Listen up, Yolof. I need you, and I really appreciate what you're doing, but I need you to uh, stay in your own territory. Stay in your own territory. Yolof, I need you to stay in your own territory. Okay, he's on a mission, isn't he? Does he even have a way back home? I think he knows that he's, his planet needs him. Oh, there we go. There we go. Get your arses back home. Again, it's pretty dangerous for me to be flirting on the seas here with Venetian presence because those galleys would crush my heavies inland. But it feels good to scope out where the enemy is. And you know what? If they're not going to come to me, why don't I come to them? Uh, let's scout out Oldenburg. Who's got the heavies anyway? Poland, Burgundy, basically not scared, not with Bitter Craven on the case. Gonna kinda wish I had a few more, um, a few more cogs available for this, but if I could body slam Oldenburg, then I could totally one-on-one -on -one that whole coalition of Austria's. But body slamming uh, Oldenburg themselves won't be enough because it's a coalition war. They have a minus 30 to peace offers until I get the war score to, what is it, 50%? 30%? I forget the exact number. Didn't you just capture some cogs, Jake? Yeah, I captured two, so that ups us to 17, whoop-de-doo. Uh, but I am over force limit, which is not great, but what you going to do? Yeah, a bit too late to get the repair job on that. But it's alright, let's just go up and scout. 
Fifty says Brooks more, and more is indeed more. Uh oh, Tanis could become a liability if they march in there and get their arses kicked. So far, we haven't lost an, enc uh, an encounter. And the natives, of course, aren't going to be fight. Okay, here's the thing: they they don't really know how to do a combined fight against us right now. What I could do is drop in with units, kill people to harvest battle war score. Okay, I, I'm done convincing myself. It's got to happen. Cannons are still a bit useless at this time. Tech 13 is a wee bit away. But since we have Tech 12, and I don't think many others do, it's the ultimate time for us to go and destroy. Delightful. New mission goal, Jake. Dismantle the HRE. I'm not convinced I'm at war with all the electors. Ooh, hang on, hang on. People with better eyes than me. Bohemia, yes. Brandenburg, yes. Cologne, yes. Mainz, yes. Palatinate, yes. Trier, yes. Munster, yes. How many of them are in which war? Okay, they're all in the big war. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I like this proposition that we uh, we tried to dismantle the HRE. Might be a bit much to ask, given we're fighting such insurmountable odds. Actually, it's probably a kind of stupid goal. But an interesting one nonetheless. It is, however, quite late in the day. Yes, I see the port the Venetians there and the Malians, uh, Milans coming in as well. But fascinating stuff. We've got a big fight on our hands and it's something we're going to conclude in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Granada has come back, smashed the Iberians to bit, and the renovations are well underway in Iberia. Once this war is concluded and Al Andalus is formed, we can begin shipping these people off to these godforsaken islands that we found. But uh, until then, we got a fight on our hands. A fight that we're going to see on the next episode. So cheers for joining for tonight. It's been fun. And jinx, it's been four hours. But there's work to be done in a few more hours. So for me, for now, it's cheers and cheerio.